The stadium sales tax to fund the Royals' potential move to the crossroads and the renovations to Arrowhead is nearly two weeks away now. KCTV5's Ryan Hennessy spoke with Royals chairman and CEO John Sherman and the Crossroads business owners that would effectively be moved out. There's still a lot of unanswered questions prior to the upcoming vote and some of the most important coming from these Crossroads businesses. So we took those questions to Royals owner John Sherman. I'd like to know why Royals representatives didn't come around and talk to people in this neighborhood that own businesses in the destruction zone as well as in the surrounding areas before we all found out about it on a press conference. The timing is right for the Royals to become residents of the crossroads. We would have loved to have gotten out there earlier, but we had a, it became clear uh, that the county executive didn't want to sit down and negotiate with us, so we had to go straight to the legislature. And to their credit, they voted eight to one against his recommendation uh, to put it on the ballot and seven to two to override his veto. What is the involvement of the Cordish company in this project, and how much more taxpayer money will they receive from this project? You know, the Cordish companies are not involved in this project. I've heard that. I've heard that discussed. I, you know, I do think they would stand to benefit. And I mean, if you think about as a byproduct of us benefiting the city from that location. We'll activate power and light, uh, certainly with 81 baseball games, certainly on summer nights. Why did you abandon the East Village location for the ballpark? It seems like a great location for the ballpark, and it wouldn't have disrupted so many businesses. So there's a whole bunch of reasons, but it, the reality is that, you know, to connect downtown to the crossroads, to 18th and Vine, to Hospital Hill, and, create, and, and take advantage of all the synergy that exists and all the momentum and really kind of build out a, what has become a very significant sports and entertainment and cultural district. It, it just has significantly more benefits uh, overall. There's other displacement that would have gone on in, uh, in East Village and, and actually quite a bit more residential displacements. I'm definitely uh, aware of Green Dirt Farm, Sarah Hoffman, and that's, that is a, understand the challenging situation, uh, but we're talking to her and we hope uh, to have a solution for all of the businesses in the crossroads. A meeting took place with a handful of businesses yesterday with the Royals President of Business Operations. John Sherman says he hopes to actually work out a separate community benefits agreement with the crossroads businesses prior to April 2nd. Now, live at 5, we will be discussing John Sherman's reaction to Frank White's request that the teams pay for that upcoming vote. Reporting from the Crossroads, Ryan Hennessy, KCTV 5.